Hello and welcome to the fourth episode in the series of free songwriting lessons courtesy of ultimatesongwritinglessons.com. Today we'll be talking about writing hooks. We'll be looking at some examples of classic hooks, what makes a great hook and how you can start using them in your own work. So firstly, what is a hook? In short, it's a musical or lyrical phrase that can be described as memorable and catchy. They're these moments in songs that jump out at the listener and stick in their memory. Here's just a few examples of some great hooks. So what makes a good hook? When you listen to those songs, all from different genres, you notice that they all have something in common. Their hooks are all short and easily repeatable. The goal of the hook is to stick in the listener's brain and get them coming back for more. So keep it short and keep it simple. Remember this rule, the longer the hook, the harder it is to remember. 90% of your listeners aren't going to be musicians or even have any musical skill, so it's got to be simple enough for these people to sing along to. Now I know what you're thinking. If you write songs with a listener in mind, isn't that selling out your songwriting morals? Surely the song should come from your heart as a songwriter. And yes, you're absolutely right. If your songs only consist of short hooks with no lyrical depth, your music is going to get pretty dull very quickly. You might get away with one or two songs, but any more and your listeners will start going elsewhere. So, the key thing to remember is to strike a balance between the two. Hooks alone don't work without lyrical depth, and deep lyrics don't go anywhere near as well without a hook to go with it. As an example, I'll refer back to the tracks referred to earlier in the lesson, The Rolling Stones' Satisfaction. This song strikes the perfect balance between quality, lyrical depth, and short, snappy hooks. All three of those hooks are easily repeatable. The verse is where the real lyrical meat is. You'd be hard pressed to remember all of those words, even after 10 listens. So, this song is essentially about advertising. How every time you turn on the TV or radio, you're bombarded with products and people trying to sell you stuff. You pair strong subject matter like that with multiple hooks and you could have a massive hit on your hands. Listen to the song in full. If you were to take away all of those hooks, what are you left with? Sure, it's still a cool verse with great melody and lyrics, but it's going to be nowhere near as memorable. So, how do you approach adding hooks to your own material? Well, firstly, take a look at one of your existing songs. A great way to make an existing track sound hooky is to simplify your lyrics. Maybe your chorus could benefit from shaving away some lyrics. Could you say the same thing with fewer words? Maybe rearrange it to consist of two or three choice words, or even just one word repeated. The best hooks are the ones even a small child could repeat easily. Keep that in mind. Using hooky riffs is a great way to start a new song. Start by playing around on your instrument of choice and see if you can create any short and snappy riffs. Use as few notes as possible. Listen to the song My Favourite Game by The Cardigans. That guitar riff doesn't get any simpler. How infectious is that? Lastly, let's look at finding hooks vocally. Look back at Blur's Song 2, or Sympathy for the Devil, again by the Rolling Stones. Here you can see how you can create a great vocal hook without even using any words. Here's another collection of examples. <laughs> Kennedy's, where after all. 
This method is easy. Try it yourself. Play a random chord sequence and hum, ooh, ah, or whatever else comes to mind over the top. Remember, keep it simple and keep it short. Lastly, a lot of songwriters feel using hooks somehow cheapens the art of songwriting, that it should be about the song's message and lyrical content rather than catchy riffs and sing-along choruses. If you belong to that school of thought, I'd like you to try an exercise. Listen to some albums of your choosing and start looking for the hooks. OK, some alternative artists might use fewer hooks than others, but trust me, they'll be in there somewhere. Now you know what to look for, you'll be able to identify them much more easily. It's not selling out to use hooks, it's just a small part in the overall game of improving your songwriting skills and making your songs better. If you'd like to learn more about how to improve your songs, including tackling writer's block, how to write with riffs, how to write great lyrics, memorable melodies, and a whole lot more, check out the Ultimate Songwriting Handbook, available exclusively at www.ultimatesongwritinglessons.com.